Hi everyone, it's Laura and I hope you're all doing well. So for those of y'all who are new to my channel, I'm a registered dietitian and I'm all about plant-based nutrition. So today I thought I would share with y'all some of the common mistakes that I see people make that prevents them from losing weight. So if you're interested, then keep watching. To take action every single day and whether the action is really small or whether it's a huge action, just making that effort every single day and making sure that you're remembering what your goals are and keeping your health goals in mind. As long as you're doing little strides every single day, then it will add up really quickly, I promise. Because time's going to go by whether you're healthy or not. And so you might as well take steps every day to be healthy. Next is to research for yourself and to never stop learning. Because a lot of times I found that people trust what other people say without actually doing the research for themselves. And you can very easily go to pubmed.com and search, type in the search engine and there are bukus of scientific research out there on any type of nutrition that you can think of. So whether you're researching the plant-based diet, whether you're researching green tea and whether or not it actually makes you lose weight, whether you're looking up the ketogenic diet, whatever it may be, you have access to those scientific articles. And so instead of trusting someone random online and putting your health in their hands, I highly encourage you to take your health into your own hands and to do your own research. And that kind of goes along with my next one, which is to not look for outside reassurance unless it's from a professional. So if you're someone who you've started making changes and you're eating a certain way and you feel great, don't feel like you have to justify that to anyone. Don't feel like if your mom, if your dad, if your best friend, whoever, if they criticize it, what do whatever works for you and to not look for that reassurance because people are going to constantly let you down. I know that's kind of pessimistic, but not everyone is going to agree with what you're doing and learning to be okay with that, to be okay with this is what makes me feel great. If you don't agree with it, then fine, but I'm going to keep doing it. And if someone doesn't agree with you to not let that discourage you, but to keep doing what feels right. Next is to put things into perspective because I know a lot of times when you're trying to eat right and lose weight and you're on this health kick, then whenever you have a hiccup or whenever you maybe don't have the healthiest meal, a lot of people start to get down on themselves because it's almost like they set themselves up for failure. They set the bar almost too high. And what I encourage y'all to do is to keep things into perspective. So is it gonna matter in a week? Is it gonna matter in a month if you eat something unhealthy once? And to try and not get too down on yourself and to not be too hard on yourself. I know a lot of times it's easier said than done, but if you're serious about getting healthy and losing weight, then you'll throw those critical thoughts about yourself out the window and you'll stop being so hard on yourself. Next is to realize that you can't control everything. And this is something that I have to remind myself. You can't always control what food's going to be available. You can't always control your circumstances or where, when socially you're hanging out with people, where y'all end up going. And that's okay. And relinquishing that control at times is extremely beneficial, not only physically, but mentally as well, because you can't always be so strict with food. You can't always do everything perfectly. And so it's important to let loose sometimes. I'm not saying let loose all the time <laughs> and to eat like crap all the time, but there's a time and a place to just be chill and to eat something unhealthy and life will go on, I promise. So I hope this video helped y'all out. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. I love connecting with y'all. Also, if you're someone who you need a little bit more motivation or you need some form of accountability, then I am more than happy to be that person for you. I'm available for meal planning. I'm also available for one-on-one -on -one counseling. So I'll leave all the information for that below as well. Also, check me out on social media. I post all the time and I love hearing from y'all on other platforms as well. And I hope y'all are doing well and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.